Hello again, Kinzo. Today we're going to make Tefillin for your Lego minifigure. So we're going to take a box. We're going to left click on the box. We're going to schlep it inside our place over here. Now we're going to take another box and schlep it in right next to it. The second box, right? If you look at these boxes, they're 20 by 20 by 20. So we're going to take the second box. I'm going to flatten it to 12. Sorry, 12, no, flatten it to, let's flatten it to 10, sorry, not 10, no, it's too much, let's flatten it to 8, 8, is 8 about right? 8 looks about right, so I fill in it, and then we're going to make it width, we're going to make it, going to make it 40 deep by 30 wide, and then if we smush it together, we left click and smush it together it's going to be looking sort of like it's filling let's let's you know I'm gonna look at it from yeah look at it from the left side I click on this box over here look at it from the left side looking nice let's look at the an angle and now I'm gonna use my arrow keys on my keyboard to go left a little bit left two times yeah it looks about centered yeah it looks looks good all right it's filling a little bit bigger on the right now I'm going to do something, and I'm going to take these two, I'm going to click in the middle of the air, left click in the air, make this red box, red dotted box, select both shapes, and I'm going to come over here to where it says group, or press control G, and group them, now they are one thing, we got our main phone box, it doesn't look exactly like it's phone box, it's now those, those like slits for putting in the Ritsuas, for putting in the, uh, the straps, right, so we got to make this slip for the slot for the Ritsuas, so the way I do this is like this, we'll take a Cylinder, we're going to left click, grab, grab in a cylinder, and I'm going to and take the cylinder, I'm going to put the size all the way up to 64. Then I'm going to grab a left click and grab a box, bring the box in and put the box under the cylinder. I'm going to press F to focus, I'm going to look at it from the top. I'm going to move the box until it's in, the top of the box is in the middle of the cylinder by using my arrow keys. I'm just going to press down one, two, three, I think three is too much. Two, and the way we can check it, if it's in the middle, I'm going to click on the cylinder, and this middle dot, of, right now we're looking at the middle dot of this box. If I click on the cylinder, the middle dot should be where this line is for the, the which shows the edge of the box. So if I let's, let's left click on the cylinder, and bam, it's right there. It's right in the box. That means it's halfway. That's perfect. Now I'm going to take our box here, and I'm going to turn it to a hole, and I'm going to click and let's scroll out a little bit and then I'm gonna left click in the middle of the area make our red data lines with both shapes unite them and it will chop off a piece now I'm gonna take this shape here and I'm gonna turn this into a hole so now we've take, taken a cylinder and a box made the box into a hole to chop off the cylinder now the cylinder is now being made into a hole so that we can chop off a piece like this let's do that sorry let's focus in here yeah, and let's look at it from the top, and it looks sort of like that that chop off that where you'd put the Ritsuas, but it looks like a bit too tall. I want to shorten it, so I'm going to grab this black dot over here, which is going to grab the whole top uh, front, sorry, like I guess uh, north side of this shape, and put it down one, two, yeah, that looks about good. Seven, eight, seven, eight, which we go with. I like even numbers. Let's go with eight. Now that I have the shade, now I'm going to do this, I'm going to press. Hold down the control button on my keyboard and press C and then let go. And then I'm going to press control again and press letter V. And I have a copy. Now I'm going to use my arrow keys again. I'm going to move, make, go to the left and click, click to the left. It looks like it's about in place. Let's press F to focus. Mm, I might have moved it a bit too much. Let's move it one place back. Yeah, that looks good. Now to make sure that they're somewhat centered, I'm going to click on our main film box, press F to focus, and let's see if they look like they're both in the middle. Oh no, actually I was wrong. This one is a bit too much to left. Let's move one to the right. Now let's again check our film box. Let's look at it from the top. Yeah, looking good. Let's look at it from the front. Let's look at it from the sides. All right, now let's unite all three elements right now. Remember, these two boxes are one thing. So I'm going to click in the middle of the air, make a red box, select all three, and just like that. Now, now we can get even more detail. We can make the line for where the, the hairs go, and you can make a line over here to show 
the separation. We can make a little hole over here to, and then start making the two. So we can get really deal with this. But since we're going to be putting it on a Lego minifigs head, I don't want to make it too detailed because some of that detail just won't come out when you make it so small, and it'll be hard to see anyways. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to shrink it. But what size do we shrink it to? So I, before doing this, I downloaded a Lego minifig head made by an amazing man over on a different website. I'm going to put a link to that download. It's free to download. You can download the head just like I did, and you can make a whole bunch of different things for your Lego minifig set. You can make a strimal if you will. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll do that in a future video. Make a little Lego strimal. It's going to be a little more advanced. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our, my Lego match head. So I'm going to do import. Click on import. And I'm going to choose a file. And I'm going to go through my file. I have my Lego... Where is this? No, no, no. I have... Where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Under downloads. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I made one mistake here. We, I did not put the file inside my 3D files. Let's make that copy right now. Okay, I made a copy. There we go. Now, let's do import. Choose file. Go to 3D objects. I'm going to go to, type in your Lego. Let's find my little Lego. There we go. Let, oh no. Hello. Mini fig. Let's do mini fig head. Yeah, it's called mini fig head. Sorry. Mini fig head. And select it. I don't know why it's not showing me render. And and it yeah, it accepted it. So I'm gonna press import. And oh, it's probably gonna show up right underneath this box around. Oh, it's over there. There we go. So let me let me like right click in the middle nowhere to move around. Yeah, there we got our Lego minifig head. Yep, it's looking good. So now we're gonna take our phone box here, which just looks a bit too big for a little minifig head. So we're gonna shrink it. We're gonna shrink it, shrink it, shrink it, shrink it along this side. I'm grabbing the corner. I'm gonna shrink it this way. But oh, so it looks like it's good now. And the horizontal and its depth and its width look good, but its height is too high. So let's shrink it a little high. Let's make it shorter, shorter, shorter. Ooh, too much. Mm, no, it's not again. We gotta make it a little smaller, smaller this way. And uh, oh, that was too small. Okay, 11 by 13. 11 by 13 sounds nice. The top will be like eight. Let's double check it before we make any final decisions. Yeah, it's looking like a tone box. It's looking like a tone box. Good enough for a Lego match head. Now we have this Lego match head we imported. How am I going to make sure this film fits on a Lego match head? What what thing do you think we could do? We could, we could turn. We, what can I do with this shape right now? I, I can't stretch it. I can't like turn it. I mean, I could twist it in a circle, do it like that. And control Z to go backwards. Um, but what I can look at this, we're gonna do here. I can make it into a hole. Look at that. And this will allow me to cut out an exactly Lego Menchie sized hole in the tefillin. So now we'll take our tefillin. Uh, actually, let's make it a little smaller. Let's make it a little, little small, a little smaller. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like that one by eight, shorter. Perfect, six. Now I'm going to hold the little triangle top, raise it up, move it over. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Here, LZ, sorry. Actually, we can always do chuva over here. And I'll move it over to Lego his head. Oop, that's too low. Let's F to focus. Let's make sure that it's not set at the right height. So we're going to take a zoom around to look sure where it is. Grab the little triangle on top, move it up, up. There we go. We can see the Lego Manchi peg in the middle, but it is there. Now we've got our tefillin that can fit on a Lego Menchie's head. Amazing. We could even we could even angle that tefillin. Let's do that. Let's angle it just a little bit. No, that's too much. Let's angle it. Oh, let's zoom in there. Whoa, where am I zooming around everywhere? Okay, sorry. I'm using my scroll wheel a bit too much. Okay, let's take this angle. We're gonna hit and I'm gonna click on the angle. Sorry, let's do it again. I'm gonna click on this little angle, this little back and forth. I'm gonna click on it, left click on it, then I'll move my mouse up to make sure I'm in the, because if, if it's down, it's in these hard degrees. But if I want it to be a little more accurate, I move my mouse up first, and then I move it to the left. Let's move it like, let's move it like, let's move it like five degrees. Five degrees is good. Now I'm gonna lift my tefillin up. 
Let's double check. Let's make sure. Whoa, that is not what I meant to do. Let's do focus over here. Sorry. Let's make sure it is around. It's sort of in there. Mm, it should be a little lower. Let's move it down. Oh, let's move too much. We want to move it down. Negative 0.5. Yeah, that looks about right. Negative 0.5 is how much I want to move it down. Yeah, the, the little Lego metric peg is in there. Not all the way, but good enough. Actually, let's, let's, let's move down. Let's move down a little more. Let's move it down a little more. Let's do a negative. Since I ready to move it to 0.5, I'm going to move it to negative 0.2. Negative 0.2. Yeah, there we go. So it's a little bit inside Lego Mechie's head, completely inside the peg from their head, leaning a little forward. Perfect. Now I'm going to again click in the middle of the air, meet this red box, select both shapes, and hit Unite. And look at that. We have got our little Lego Mechie to fill in box. It's amazing. And we can make gratuitous on. If I want to make gratuitous, I would need to bring the head back to make sure the gratuitous don't get in the way of the head. Now to print this though, to print this, I'm going to need to flip it upside down. Because when you print it, you don't want any of the printing stuff getting in the way of this hole. You want it to print this way. So I flip it like this. And uh, you can save it in this. Now we got we got a little of fill and you can put it on a Lego Mechie's head. That's awesome. Right, Ken Lach, enjoy. Remember, use your talents. Use the Kirchhoff that Hashem gave you.